Titans presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, Des Moines, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, and West Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, thoughts and prayers going out to all the folks uh, listening or uh, with family in Winterset. Uh, Winterset is a small town uh, just southwest of our, our West Des Moines service center. was impacted by a pretty severe tornado yesterday. Um, so, uh, you know, it was like, I don't know, my wife and I heard that, oh, there's, there's the possibility for tornadoes. And like a lot of people were like, you know, it's March, you know, poo-poo, tornadoes, whatever. Um, well... That that our thought, like I said, our thoughts and prayers are going out to those people right now, going through an incredibly difficult time. Uh, number to join us on the program today, if you want to uh, be a part of the show, all you have to do is give us a call, ask a question, make a comment. We are a live show Sunday morning, seven a.m. You can call in, and we are here to take those calls, and we'll even throw you in the drawing for a twenty-five dollars Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Number to join us is eight 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 two five zero two zero nine one. I'll say that one more time, 888-250-2091. Now, last week on the program, if you missed the show, it's all archived on our website at schrockinnovations.com. You can go over there, click on radio show. You can see all the archived shows, videos, the main shows, the aftershocks. They're all there. But last week on the program, we launched the first and what is possibly the last maintenance checkup sale of 2022. Um we had some serious discussions within the company. Uh, you know, like every other company right now, we are feeling the uh, the pressures of this environment. You know, uh, offering free pickup and free drop off, for example, is that something you continue to do if gas prices hit five dollars a gallon? You know, it, those are some serious questions we're going to have to ask at some point. Um, have you noticed that you know, like Hobby Lobby? And, uh, you know, they got rid of their 40% off coupon or their 25% off coupon or whatever it was. You go to the register, you'd always get like 40% off one item, you know, as long as it wasn't on sale, which, you know, everything is on sale there. So it's hard to find an item to get 40% off of. Those coupons are all gone now. Um, you know, lots of places have raised their prices by reducing their discounts. And so one of the things that it's a, it's a way you can raise your price without raising your prices and so we had some serious discussions about whether or not we should do that with the preventative maintenance checkup. Um, we are in a geopolitically interesting place right now. And, yes, I'm a little bit of a worry wart about things. Um, I told my wife, um, my spidey sense is tingling here, and I think we need to, uh, we need to hit the Sam's Club. You know, and let's, you know, let's not go crazy and buy out all the toilet paper or anything, but you know, let's make sure we got the foods that the kids want to eat. And let's make sure that, you know, we've got the, the staples that we need. You know, let's let's go and stock up a little bit and make sure we're, we're replenished. Because the last time we did a big stock up was the last time my spidey sense tingled, which was right before COVID, uh, where I'm like, this is weird. Something's coming and it's not good. So in that environment with my spidey sense tingling, I thought it was important for, you know, throughout the pandemic, I cannot tell you how many of you individually you know, maintained subscriptions, brought computers into the service center, sent us well wishes, did everything. You know, we have what uh, Ed, Ed Genesco brings us more food, I think. I mean, he literally feeds my entire Papillion service center uh, <laughs> through gift cards and actual gifts of food. Um, I mean, it's just just amazing stuff. And in an environment where I know making sure that you get any problems detected in your computer now is really important so we can fix them now rather than wait six months and try to fix them later and maybe what will be a different environment, um, it, it's important. So I told my crew, you know, well, let's do at least one. We, we were going to do at least one sale this year. We might do two. I, I don't want to rule it out. You know, who knows what the rest of the year is going to bring. You know, this, you know of course, you, people only tell you their spidey sense tingles when something happens that would, you know, justify its tingling. My spidey sense tingles all the time. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, nothing ever happens. So, you know, it could, could just be you know, everything works out, you know, you never know. But uh, in the meantime, I am doing some things to make sure that my household is prepared. You know, we're getting our furnaces and air, air conditioners, you know, maintained, uh, making sure I'm stocked up on things like furnace filters, you know, things that you just don't think about, right? That if you don't, if you can't get them all of a sudden, you got a real big problem. You know, those little stupid things. And one of those little stupid things that nobody thinks about is their technology, how much do you rely on that computer or that tablet or that smartphone?
to do your day-to-day things in life. And I don't just mean the fun stuff, like playing a game or getting the news or doing things like that, but you know, doing your bill pay. Um, if you can't pay your bills, if, if something goes wrong and you can't get online to pay the bills and you don't get the paper bills anymore because everything is paperless, well, you're just going to get the fees and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, there's, there's all kinds of things of ramifications of having a computer go down unexpectedly for an extended period of time um, that are off the charts. Right now, uh, we are um, – <laughs> If you recycle a laptop at Schrock right now, we are evaluating it to see if we can repair it well enough to be a loaner, to give to somebody temporarily whose computer is being repaired. We have a Lenovo laptop in our Lincoln Service Center that we have just now received the part that we ordered 45 days ago. Uh, We had an HP laptop in our Papillion Service Center that needed hinges. Basic part. Breaks all the time. HP doesn't have hinges for the laptop. They they don't have them. Um, So we go to eBay. We go to the secondary market to see if we can find the hinges somewhere. There's always somebody selling hinges. I mean, they break all the time. No hinges for this model. Okay, can we find maybe a defective one of these? Maybe has a bad motherboard or something in it because all we need are the hinges. We need need the the $99 set of hinges. That's all we need. Um, And we ended up having to buy an entire junked out laptop just to get the hinges out of it. Um, So things are definitely tightening. Things are definitely uh, different than they used to be. Uh, It's not panic-inducing at this point. We can still get what we need. I can still place an order and expect to receive it within five days uh, in most cases. Uh, Laptops are a little dicey at times, but that's kind of normed out the last couple weeks. So, uh, you know, like I said, things are are flowing right now, but that doesn't mean I want to be complacent about it. And that means I want to make sure that if your computer is having issues, you may not realize it's having issues. And that's one of the most important reasons why we recommend preventative maintenance. So we talked a lot about that on the show last week what we do during a maintenance checkup. I'll mention some of that again today throughout the program, but uh, they are on special right now. They are $59.99. That's nearly 40% off the normal price um, to, to have eight hours of work done to your computer, not just testing everything, but optimizing as well. So when you get the computer back, not only is it faster than it was when you brought it in because it's, you know, it's cleaned up, it's optimized, the Windows files are all checked and made sure that they're all working properly, the registry is, is optimized. It doesn't give you as big of an advantage as it used to back in the day, but we'll take every little bit. You know, making sure everything is in a nice straight line and working well, free of malware, free of cookies, free of all that garbage. When you get it back, not only is, is it optimized, but we're going to test the components that fail and start failing before you, know, you realize they're failing. Your hard drive, for example. Um, not only, you know, Drive Advisor is great because it detects, you know, epic failures in progress. Drive Advisor does not detect degradation of the speed of your, your solid state, which happens over time. Solid states wear out over time. They slow down, especially if you're running them full. If they're, if they're 80% full or, or higher, we're going to recommend a new solid state, a bigger one for you, uh, because you're going to wear that out real quick. When, I won't give you the technical details about why, but it, it's going to wear out a lot faster if it's full. Um, so you want to make sure you're not filling up your hard drive all the way. It's got plenty of, of you know, loose room. These are the kind of things you don't think about. You know, your power supply in your computer, is it, is it overvolting that 12-volt rail that goes to the motherboard? In other words, in English, is it giving too much power to the motherboard and stressing those capacitors out to the point they might fail or a resistor can fail on the board? And if that happens... There isn't anybody around anymore that does board-level repair. So you just have to buy a new board. Well, unfortunately, if your computer is a few years old, especially if it's an Intel-based computer that's a few years old, you're going to have trouble finding those old boards right now. And they don't make them anymore, so there aren't any new boards. So, I mean, literally, the challenges are insurmountable, and you want to find those challenges and solve them before the bad power supply shorts out the motherboard. We want to test the power supply, find the problem, replace the power supply so that you are good to go. That's just one example of some of the things that we do in the service center to make sure that your computer is set and working for you. The vast majority of people that come in for maintenance every six months, they come in, they get a clean bill of health, they go back home. It's like going in for your dental checkups. You know, you go in and as long as you're brushing your teeth and you're flossing, you're doing what you're supposed to do, most of the time you're fine. Once in a while, like me, I'm going in on Wednesday for a root canal. That'll be fun. Um, I brushed. I flossed. I did everything right. I went in for my six-month checkups. They x-rayed me when I'm like, my, my, my I have jaw pain. What's going on here? They x-rayed me. They said, we can't find anything wrong. Well, then they did a percussion test, which is basically let's play the xylophone on your teeth. 
And yeah, they found it. Ow, zing. Okay, don't do that again. Oh, we have to do it a second time to confirm. You sadist? What are you talking about? Bing, zing, ow. Okay, that's it. Um, so yeah, now I get to go have a root canal. Um, my diagnosis was hitting my tooth with a little metal hammer. Uh, <laughs> I paid $100 for that. So I mean, I can guarantee you that when you come in and you pay fifty nine ninety nine for a maintenance checkup, we're going to do a heck of a lot more than hit your computer with a tiny metal hammer. Uh, you know, you're going to get your, your money's worth out of it. And it's something that I would encourage you to do. We have open bench spots in the service centers. If you want to come in now, a lot of people buy the certificates on the website and then you can use those certificates anytime in the next six months. So it's kind of nice because if you can't come in right now, you can kind of reserve the sale. Um, on the other hand, if you, if it's something you haven't had done in the last six months or a year, I would encourage you to come in and have it have it done now. Don't put this one off. Let us take a look at the computer and see what's going on. Make sure everything is working well for you so that you're prepared for whatever might come in the next six months. A lot of times at the end of the sale, what happens is people will purchase another certificate because they're good for six months. So you use one now, and then you've got one for six months from now for your next checkup. So if we don't have a sale, you've already got your certificate and you're good to go. 888-250-2091. So we spent a lot of time last week on the show talking about that kind of stuff. Uh, also, we warned you to double check your cyber defenses last week. Um, there was, you know, nobody really knew what Russia was going to do last week in the face of everything that was going on with the Ukraine. Um, and so at some point, cyber attacks are widely expected. <clears throat> what can you do to prepare yourself and prepare your household to make sure that everything is, is good to go there? That was one of the things we talked about last week. Uh, also, we gave you a list of cars, automobiles, that are going to have features that stop working uh, this year because the, the 3G network is being retired. You know, your, your app-based stuff, unlocking, locking, you know, uh, your OnStar emergency call buttons, things like that will stop working because the 3G modems uh, won't be able to connect to the network anymore. Uh, so if you uh, wanted to hear about those cars, I would encourage you to take a listen to that show last week where we gave you the entire list. It was great radio. We read a lot of car names off. It was like the Mr. Mechanic show all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, you can listen to that one if you want to. Now, coming up on the program today, obviously, we're going to talk a little bit about the maintenance special, but also we're going to get into the weeds a little bit on making sure that your security is up to par. There are some reasons for this. Number one, um, we have not seen epic level cyber attacks up to this point. Um, that could change in the next week or two as Poland is talking about giving fighter jets to the Ukraine. And requesting the United States backfill those, they want to give their MIGs to the Ukraine and have us replace them with F-15s. You know, that's like saying I want to take my my you know 1972 Chevy and give it to my neighbor, and then I want a brand new Silverado. You know, <laughs> it's like, hmm. but uh, you know that might actually happen. If that happens, that could be a, a an issue. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot going on basically, and this could escalate in a lot of ways that no one can imagine. Um, Visa and Mastercard just uh, basically said, that, well, it, the press release says they're going to cease operations in Russia. That's not entirely true. What they're going to do is they're going to descend an iron curtain around Russia, basically. If you have a Visa or MasterCard that's issued by a bank within Russia, that card will continue to work within Russia. If you have a Visa or MasterCard issued to you outside of Russia, it will not work inside of Russia. Likewise, cards issued inside of Russia will not work outside of Russia. So, you know, they're... they're it sounds like a, oh, my gosh, so, you know, how are people going to live? Uh, nothing's going to change for people, for the vast majority of people inside Russia. I mean, if I told you, I mean, half of us, if we tried to go use our debit card, if we, if we drove to Mexico and tried to use our debit card or drove to Canada and tried to use your debit card, you'd get flagged with a fraud alert. You know, it, it wouldn't let you go through. You'd have to call somebody. So, I mean, most of us experience that anyway. Um, <laughs> it just happens. Uh, but in Russia, for example, that's one way that uh, that companies are going to tighten and they're not the only ones. So during the program today, we're going to tell you about some other tech companies and what they're doing to, uh, to limit what's going on in Russia right now, to limit their exposure to Russia, to reduce the, uh, the services that they provide there to increase the pressure on Russia to, uh, to, to basically stop their Ukrainian invasion. So the other thing we're going to go into today is Elon. This guy continues to I don't want to say impress because I mean there there's there's some some charlatan showman in there somewhere but the stuff that's coming out of his mouth right now and his actions are just amazing. So we're going to tell you what Elon is doing to shape the Ukrainian battlefield and the shocking thing that he said this week that actually damages Tesla's interest but is the right thing to do. 
And he came out and said it because it was the right thing to do, even though it would damage his interests. And, I mean, you got to respect a guy who's willing to do that. 888-250-2091. Uh, as I mentioned at the start of the program here, the maintenance checkup special is in full effect in the service center right now, 40% off. Uh, you can either come into the service center, drop the computer off. Right now we're still doing 24 to 48 hour turnarounds. So you'll have it back in a day, two days at the most. Um, the, uh, the other alternative is you can go to our website at schrockinnovations.com, click on shop and specials and, on that specials page, you can actually purchase a maintenance certificate. I'd encourage you to get one for each computer that you have in your household that you want to have maintenance done on. Uh, also, like I said, if you buy more than one, they, they're good for six months. So if you plan to use one now, you could use the second one six months from now and basically ensure that you've got that discounted sale. Speaking, speaking of discounts and inflation and prices, have you seen this is totally not related to computers whatsoever. Have you seen that Colgate's going to release a new tube of toothpaste? It's exciting news. I tell you what. Their new toothpaste, it's, it's a, uh, what they call a premium toothpaste. It's like the ultra pro whitening toothpaste, right? It's what all the TV anchors are going to use, I'm sure. How much is a tube of toothpaste, right? I asked my wife this. She was like, what, $2? We bought a, we bought a year's supply of toothpaste like last year, okay? <laughs> so we paid about $2 a tube. Current price of toothpaste is about $4 a tube. Colgate's going to release this tube of toothpaste at $10 a tube. Now, yes, it's premium toothpaste. Yes, you don't have to go. You could. There are options that you can buy that are not ten dollars a tube. I'm not suggesting that the cost of toothpaste is going to ten dollars a tube. But um, as Nana said when I told her about this yesterday, she said baking soda works just fine for me. <laughs> you know, she's like, if it goes to ten dollars a tube, I'm switching to baking soda. But I mean, th that's the kind of stuff you know. Companies are raising prices on just about everything right now in every way that they can. Um, if you don't have a contract locked in for something, I mean, I. I Yes, I'm a little frustrated that I still don't have my 2021 F-150 that I ordered last August, but I've locked it in at last August's price. I'm not frustrated about that. Um, in fact, I got an email. You're going to love this. I got an email, and it said that my date has, my production date has changed. My, my F-150 was supposed to be ready the first week or going to production the first week of uh, April. Well, now it's going in the week of the 28th of March. Woohoo! baby. So a whole, a whole week earlier going into production, they must've got a fistful of chips or something. I don't know, but uh, I was excited to hear that. So maybe, maybe the, uh, the new F-150 will be in, in, you know, sometime in the next month and a half or so, but we'll see. But I mean, that's the thing that's going on. Everybody's raising prices everywhere right now, guys. So take advantage of this sale, this opportunity, you know, we are going to continue to do our best at truck to bring you products and services that meet your needs, that solve your problems at fair and reasonable prices that you guys can look at and say, you know what, that's a that's a that's an equitable amount of money to pay for something like that. Um, I don't know when this happened, but you know we poked our heads up when prices started to go up everywhere and said, you know, exactly where do we sit among all of our competitors? And we went and we looked at Best Buy. Like, what do you what does it cost to go get a maintenance checkup done at Best Buy? What does it cost to have this or that done at these different places in town? A lot, of the, a lot of the shops in town have a la carte menus. Like you have to go in and tell them what's wrong with your computer and then they, they charge you that price to fix it. But of course, you know, we have people that come in and say their monitor has a virus. So, I mean, people don't always know what's wrong with the computer. So that's kind of a weird thing to, well, then there's a diagnostic product you can pay for. So we'll tell you what's wrong with it. And then you can pay us to fix it. Um, Schrock has kind of become a low cost leader, which we were never intended to be. We were intended to be a high service provider. Um, Maintenance checkup at Best Buy is like $160. And they do less than we do. So it's really a steal at $65 or 59, excuse me, $59.99. See, I'm already inflating it. At $59.99, it really is a steal in the service centers, guys. So if you have the time to get in and do it, I would recommend you do it sooner rather than later. If you don't have the time right now, grab a certificate from Schrockinnovations.com. Good for six months. 888-250-2091. We're going to take our first break of the program. When we come back, Gary, Cheryl, your call is coming up next on Compute This. Drive Advisor is a free program from Schrock Innovations that monitors your hard drive's health and tells you if it's going bad. Download it for free at driveadvisor.com. In 1798, Eli Whitney's Connecticut Musket Factory was the first business in North America to use replaceable parts in a firearm. Before Eli's factory, if your musket broke, you had to send it away to an expert gunsmith for repairs or just toss it and buy a new musket. 
Technology manufacturing has come a long way since the 18th century, but you wouldn't know it by looking at today's big box store computers. Dell, HP, Sony, and other manufacturers continue to take away your freedom to upgrade and repair your computer by eliminating expansion and repair options. Some desktops are even powered by a tiny laptop adapter. Schrock Innovations believes in Eli Whitney's idea of interchangeable and replaceable components, and that's why our custom-built modular computers last longer and cost less to repair than computers computers you see at big box stores. Ask your friends and family how often they replace their box store computers and they'll probably tell you every couple of years. And what do they do with the old machines? They just get thrown out like broken muskets. Imagine a place where your computer's problems can be fixed quickly and inexpensively. Imagine keeping your computer for six years or more. You are imagining the kind of computers we build every day at Schrock Innovations. Our modular systems last longer, perform faster, and cost less over the long term than anything you can buy at a big box store. While the talented technicians at Schrock Innovations can't make you a musket even if they tried, our commitment to the freedom offered by modular computers is the modern-day extension of Eli's innovative musket factory. We think Eli Whitney would be proud, and you can take pride in owning a small piece of American innovation, the modular computer from Schrock Innovations. Compute this pro tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like Drive Advisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Location in Lincoln, just south of uh, 14th and Pine Lake Road in Omaha, 168th and Burke. That's across the street from the Village Point Service Center. In Papillion, 84th and Highway 370 in the Midlands Place Shopping Center. And in West Des Moines, Iowa, 9500 University Avenue. Our thoughts and prayers go out with the folks of Winterset who are literally miles from our West Des Moines Service Center. Um... Boy, we're uh, we're really. If there's anything that we can do, if any of you have problems, I mean, the last thing you're thinking about is your computer. Um, but I'm sure that there was some wind and rain and data damage, things like that. If there's anything that we can do to help you out, please seek us out. Um, I'm just gonna say it now. We're just, we're just gonna fix your stuff, okay? Just bring it to Schrock. We will take care of you. Um, I know that there's. Bigger, bigger things to worry about right now. But when it comes time to worry about those things, bring it to Schrock and we will take care of you. 888-250-2091. Gary, welcome to the program. How can I help you uncompute this today? Hello, Thor. Hello. Yes. I've got a question about your maintenance special. Yes, sir. Uh, since I live about an hour, hour and a half, two hours away from Lincoln, uh, it, can that be done in one day so I can pick it up the same day? It can be. This is kind of a this is a delicate thing because maintenance checkups do take about eight hours to do. So if we're looking for a same day turnaround time, it's really important that we get it as early as possible, like as close to ten o'clock when we open as we can. Uh, and also, if you can call the service center ahead before you bring it in and just give them a heads up that that's the situation. Um, my staff are trained to never promise that we can have something turned in a day or turned same day or afternoon or by a specific time, because inevitably, the technology makes us into a liar. Uh, you know, we get into the computer and we find it's got a bad hard drive. It needs to be cloned, and the clone doesn't want to clone. Um, or we, uh, we get in there and the, the power supply is bad, but it's a special order power supply. We have to order it from somewhere. Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of weird things that can happen that can make us liars, so we, we don't promise that we can have something done same day for that reason. But in this situation for a maintenance checkup, we have had customers that come in from, from you know, distant places, and we, we do our best to make sure we can get them fulfilled and, and finish that same day. Well, say over the next two months, uh, what what would you recommend as far as uh, 
I, a good optimal time to come in. Or do you see a surge in work coming up that that I, that I need to work around that? Or Quite something? the opposite, actually. Um, usually when, when it gets to the point where you can put stuff in the ground, that's when our business slows down. People get out from behind their computers. They're they're going out. They're traveling. They're doing things. They're they're putting stuff in the ground. Like I said, they they got other hobbies going on, and they stop breaking their tech because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they're not using it as much. And so then we see a little bit of a slowdown in business as a result of that. So I would say usually um, you know the the April May June area is a great time to bring it in. That's when we're usually the slowest. Uh, July, we start to ramp up for, for back to school and then we go into August. Then the next thing is holiday special. And then all of a sudden it's Christmas time. Um, so I would say that the summer is probably the best time, the slowest time. We're already starting to see that, that we're not slow yet, but we're, we're seeing, you know, maybe a 10% drop in the number of work orders coming in the door. Um, just because people have other things going on. They're starting to travel. You know, uh, Alfonso got his, all of his international travel done just in time. He hit Spain. You know, he got in and out of Europe before all this happened. And then uh, uh, he had to go to Venezuela because his dad had a medical emergency. And so he went to South America, too. So the boy's been to three continents right before a war broke out. So, you know, international traveler, man. So there's going to be a lot of people trying to get that vacation in or, or doing something because, you know, we've been locked down for so long. You know, everybody wants to get out and travel and do something, which is probably why I'm not going to go anywhere this year, because everyone's going to go somewhere this year. But uh, okay. next year, next year. I've got one quick question. Uh, yeah. I've tried to buy Drive Advisor and Secure Updater over the over the internet uh, through you, and I, it just doesn't work for me. And okay. so I called your, your service center, and they tried to have me go through a Shrock Desk uh, situation, and yeah. that didn't seem to work either. There's something I've got an Intel computer, but uh, what uh, what could possibly be the block there. Well, nine times out of ten, um, the the blo- the hardest part about the Shrock Desk is it, it usually takes us longer to get a customer connected to the Shrock Desk than it does for us to actually solve the uh-huh. problem once we're connected. Um, because there are several steps, and, it, and they're the same steps you would have to do to install a program. Uh, you have to install Drive Advisor or Secure Updater. Um, so if there's a situation where, you know, sometimes you have to download the program first, and then you have to find where you downloaded it, and you have to run the program. Then you have to answer yes to all the security prompts. Then you have to go through the installation process. Then when it's done, you have to launch the program. So sometimes people will download the program and say, oh, I downloaded it. Why isn't it working? Well, you you have to do these other steps. Now, if you're trying to do those steps and they're not working and you can't install DriveAdvisor and you can't install Secure Updater and you can't install the Shrock Desk, it is possible that you have a problem installing any program on your computer um, there's a lot of reasons that can happen, everything from uh, virus infections to, uh, you know, basically uh, a corrupted installer software on the computer that's not allowing executable files to run properly. Um, so it could be a real simple thing, could be a complex thing, but that's definitely something that we could check out during that maintenance checkup for you because during the maintenance checkup, we install Drive Advisor for you. Uh, it's a okay. free program. You don't pay for it. It's free. So we install yeah. it for you to monitor your hard drives. We'll also install a trial of Secure Updater. It's a 14-day free trial. Uh, we use that to update all of your third-party programs to make sure everything is current. So we'll do that for you, too. So those two things will get crossed off your list if you come in for a maintenance checkup for sure. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate the call today. 888-250-2091. We've got to take our bottom of the hour break. Uh, Cheryl, stay with us. We're going to get your call here after the break. Also, um, we just had a caller talk to us a little bit about Secure Updater. I want to spend just a couple minutes when we come back from the break explaining what Secure Updater is and why it is so critically important that you have it on your computer for what's coming 95 patches across various software applications this last week how many did you install secure updater coming up next on compute this Shrock Innovation's Data Recovery Lab saves the data the other guys can't. The next time your hard drive, camera card, or flash drive fails, let Shrock get your data back. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or knows someone who has. When you think about it, you have a lot more data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit. Have you downloaded those videos from your phone, backed up the pictures on your iPad, or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive? Most people just don't back up their stuff. And that's why Schrock Innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the Midwest. 
Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute this Pro Tip 578. Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires of repair and that cost is 50% or more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. I'm Karen McHugh. The war in Ukraine is now in its 11th day. There is important breaking news here right now. At this point, a ceasefire is due to go into effect in the hard-hit city of Mariupol in the south. That is the city that has perhaps been the most heavily bombarded by Russian forces over the last few days. Fox's Jonathan Hunt. The UN says more than one and a half million Ukrainians have already fled their war-torn country for safe haven across their border. One of those places is neighboring Moldova, where the Secretary of State now is. The United States will do all that we can to help Moldova as it cares for people who've already been through so much. Antony Blinken is on a swing through several Eastern European nations that are living in fear of further Russian aggression. America is listening to Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. Clouds will decrease some this morning and then move back in this afternoon. Decreasing northwest wind all day, though, which is good. 38 for the high. 40% chance of some light snow overnight, generally a half inch or less if you see any in the metro. A low of 22, then mostly sunny and up to 40 on Monday. With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert Senior Chief Meteorologist Rusty Lord. Alrighty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Four locations to help you out. Two of those locations are currently hiring. We're looking for a part-time front desk for the Lincoln Service Center. If you're in the uh, Lincoln metro area and, uh, you know, you're an intelligent human being that knows the right your and the right there to use when you write. I mean, I, that's really sad that that's kind of like the... There you go. If you if you know the difference between two, two, and two, then you should apply. <laughs> also, in West Des Moines, Iowa, we're looking for a front desk as well as technicians there in the service center in West Des Moines as well. Um, all of our jobs are posted up at Indeed.com. If you have trouble finding them, feel free to drop us an email. We'll be happy to get you in touch with Parker, who handles all the hiring for Schrock Innovations. 888-250-2091 is the number to join us on the show, and that's what Cheryl has done. Thank you for being patient through the break there, Cheryl. I appreciate that. How can I help you uncompute this today? Good morning, Thor. Good morning. Um, since you're talking about preventative maintenance, I wanted you to know the last time I took mine in, they told me I needed a new CPU. But luckily, I had been rolling over my warranty, yep. so everything was covered for me. So I uh, went ahead and got a, another um, preventative maintenance, and I bought a new warranty. Perfect. You know, those the warranty rollovers are seriously overrated. Um, you know, and it's one of the things that I mentioned, I'm going to go in and get this new F-150 next month if everything goes well. Um, and they're going to ask me, Thor, do you want to buy the extended warranty? And I'm going to say, I don't know. I might end up having this truck for more than you know, a few years. So maybe I should, I don't know. Uh, but then I'm like, right now, if something breaks on my truck, Ford doesn't have any parts. So mm -hmm. how, what's the warranty worth if I can't get it fixed at the Ford dealership even? 
So I, I don't know. But the warranties at Schrock is a completely different story. Like you said, if you, you don't use it, you roll it over. But, boy, when the moment comes, the most expensive part of your computer broke. <laughs> right now, the, the processor, the brain, the chip is what everybody can't buy right now. Um, and so having that repaired under warranty saved you a boatload of money. So thank you, Cheryl, for being a Schrock customer. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that we were able to, to keep your technology up and running for you and do it at a price that was obviously agreeable. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for the call today, Cheryl. Have a great afternoon. 888-250-2091. Now, one of the things that's been going on with uh, the Ukraine situation um, is lots of companies are saying, you know, we don't want to do business over there anymore. Um, and it's a show of solidarity. And I was joking with my wife. I'm like, uh, Russia is the new COVID. You know, if you don't wear a mask, you might catch Russian. Um, so, I mean, it, it, literally nobody wants to have anything to do with Russia. And it's a universal sentiment for the most part, aside from Shell Oil, uh, which Shell Oil is just being practical. I mean, I, I, I want to knock them. They, they bought a shipment of Russian oil. They were the only people to ever buy the oil. Um, the, the price just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. And, you know, there's a clearing price for everything at some point. And so Shell bought the oil and said, listen, if we don't buy the oil, we, we, you know, Europe has no heat. It's winter. So you want heat or do you want us to not buy Russian oil? Your choice. And so, you know, everyone kind of grumbles about it and, uh, you know, and they bought the oil. So anyway, there are lots of companies, including Microsoft, for example. Microsoft is literally uh, – there's a story on our Facebook feed about this too. Microsoft is on the front lines right now. Uh, in the cyber war that's going on or that is going to be going on uh, with the Ukraine invasion. In fact, Microsoft was integral in Ukraine rebuffing the initial cyber attacks that Russia launched on Ukraine. Um, they literally went into hyper response mode. You can read the whole story at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. We're, we're also broadcasting live right now, by the way. Um, you can read the whole story there, but it was amazing stuff. Now, also, Microsoft uh, is, is not going to be selling their products and services in Russia right now. Um, there's tons of, uh, of companies doing this. Uh, so Microsoft suspends all new sales of products and services in Russia. Apple and Google have both banned the use of the App Store, which sounds like, a, you know, come on, the App Store? What are you kidding me? But if you can't get apps for your device, what good is your device, Right. And then the problem is, is like the world doesn't stand still. If you have a six month disruption in patches and updates, you know, for example, if a game puts out an update that you, and you, you like to play that game, you have to update to play the game. You can't play an outdated version of the game. It allows you, you know, potentially a, a vulnerability or an unfair advantage. So if you can't update the game, you just can't play the game anymore. Um, you've speaking of gaming, um, there are competitive gaming leagues out there. You can actually get a scholarship to go to college because you play really good EA sports football or you're really good at call of duty. Well, all of the, the gaming organizations have banned all Russian participants. Um, literally um, you heard Russia took a, a WNBA uh, player. Uh, well, I won't say hostage, but um, they arrested her because, you know, she was trafficking drugs because all those WNBA players, they're, they're drug traffickers. We all know that. Um, you know, why is it that whenever, whenever an authoritarian country arrests somebody, they always say it's drugs? It's, all, <laughs> is it, is it hard to disprove, you know, like we found these drugs on you, you know, and like, here they are. You know, I don't understand. But it's never, you know, they, they arrested her. She's a hostage now. So, I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on over there. But it's really encouraging to see, on one hand, you see all these companies stepping up, um, and, and censoring false information, fake news and everything else, some of which, you know, some people believe is, is targeted politically rather than actually blocking news that's not true. But those same companies now are turning those same guns that they have on Russia. And no one seems to be complaining about that now. For example, there was a great headline. Uh, Drudge Report, as you know, is a news aggregator site. I don't think Matt Drudge actually owns it anymore, but the headlines, they, they list in order. And the top headline said, Russia passes law banning fake news. The next headline underneath that said, CNN ceases all operations in Russia. Um, I don't know if it was because they passed an anti-fake news law and CNN said, oh, shoot. You know, no, all journalists, they all left. Um, the BBC pulled out all their reporters. Um, CNN pulled out their reporters. Uh, the Washington Post has stopped issuing bylines on the stories uh, on, on the Ukraine and Russia because they don't want their individual journalists being targeted. 
uh, for writing what's true. So, uh, you know, and, and speaking of what's true, whenever you have a situation where, okay, so now in Russia, the only media that you can get is state media, right? Well, in America, the only media you really get if you turn on the TV or, you know, all the major networks, they're all playing from the same script, right? I mean, they all get the same information from the same people. They're all reporting the same stuff. It's really difficult sometimes to, if there is something that's not true, for example, maybe you have a, a different belief about, you know, vaccine efficacy, for example. You can't actually research that because nobody's reporting it. Well, I decided on a lark, I was going to go to RT.com. Let's go to Russia Today, the English version of the Russian news agency, and let's see what the propaganda says. Like, right? Let's just take a look. And the funny thing was, all the stories were exactly the same. They were just twisted a little bit. Just, just a tiny little twist. Things that were marked as, like, huge victories for Ukraine were marked as, you know, minor setbacks for Russia, but uh, we're rolling over them. Um, things that were marked as, you know, catastrophes at the power plant. They're, they're shelling a nuclear power plant. The headline was written in a, such a way on RT to make it sound like the Ukrainians were shelling their own power plant. Ukraine. <laughs> Yeah, Ukrainian power plant being shelled or something like that. It was like, um, okay, like why would they shell their own nuclear power plant? False flag? I don't know. So anyway, the uh, it was just interesting. It was interesting to see what the news is that Russia wants Americans to read and how it's just the same stories but just slightly twisted, slightly different. It's important to see that because then you realize just what a minor change of a headline or stacking two headlines on top of each other can lead you to the conclusion, for example, that CNN ceased their operations in Russia because Russia banned fake news. That's not why they ceased their operations in Russia. They ceased their operations in Russia because their journalists would be arrested if they reported anything that the Russian government disagreed with, and that's a moving target. And so we just can't have people in that environment working. It just doesn't, doesn't work. Same reason we covered the Olympics from New York. You know, It just doesn't work to be in Beijing for that. Or in, uh, you know, in, in China reporting on the Olympics. 888-250-2091. So all those companies doing all the things that they can do to, to make sure that, uh, that Russia is squeezed as much as possible. The sad thing is, is this is going to really hit the Russian people. Um, and a lot of the Russian people either don't know what's going on, uh, don't agree with what's going on. Uh, one of the stories that is not being widely reported is the number of Russian citizens that are escaping to Finland. Uh, apparently, um, if you were, if you have a Pfizer or if you have a Western vaccine, um, not the Sputnik vaccine that's available in Russia, but a Western vaccine, you can cross into Finland still by train. Um, and they said that the people coming from Russia into Finland are carrying luggage indicating that they're, they're staying for a while. They're not coming back. Most of the people to, to get into Finland that have the the Western vaccines have them because they live and work in Finland. Finland borders Russia. Um, so they were crossing the border for work anyway, and they had to get the vaccine for their jobs. So now their entire families are going into Finland uh, and leaving Russia. So, I mean, you're hearing, you don't hear about that, but there's a lot of people in Russia that don't, that, that agree, that don't think this is a good thing. They don't understand why this is happening. Um, they don't necessarily think it should be happening, but you know, the, you can't talk about that in Russia. So on one hand, you feel kind of bad for the, these people that they're going to have literally they're, they're going back to the 1980s. Technologically speaking, um, the Iron Curtain is descending and it's going to be like the 1980s, 1990s, early 90s all over again for them. Um, and it's one thing to, to grow up in that and that's your world. It's another thing to have all the benefits of Western society and then have them ripped away from you. Um, that that's got to be. Nothing compared to what the Ukrainian people are going through, but that's got to be uh, that's got to be tough on those citizens. So you do feel bad for the people, but the people enable the government. So there you go. 888-250-2091. Ron, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Hi, Thor. Um, I've got a quick question for you about one of your ads that you run. Okay. Um, I know computer logic is not like normal logic <laughs> quite often. Okay. But uh, you talk about um, keeping your uh, computer uh, security up to date because of zero-day vulnerabilities and not running programs anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but by the time a system is retired, over the years, wouldn't the zero-day vulnerabilities have all been found? And so 
I, I mean, I know it's, it's a good idea to keep everything up to date, but uh, I just wonder if you could comment on that, because yeah. I wonder if anybody else wonders about that as well. Yeah, so let's start off with what is a zero-day vulnerability? So w- with the pandemic, you know, you always have, you have a patient zero, right? The zero-day vulnerability is this is when we discovered the vulnerability. It's day zero. And starting from day zero forward, we're counting how many times this vulnerability has been used to attack computers. So with that in mind, a zero-day vulnerability that, that happens on a current system, it takes time to get that patch. So it could take, depending on the vulnerability, it could take a week, it could take a day, it could take a month, but a patch is eventually released. So what ends up happening is if you don't stay current on your patches and updates, those zero-day vulnerabilities, well, they don't stay zero-day. You know, you know, one that came out a month ago is now a 30-day vulnerability, um, but they stack up on you. So you're exposed to all of these different vulnerabilities if you don't install your patches and updates. Now, on a system like Windows 7, for example, or Windows, uh, Windows XP, let's say you have one of those two systems running, and you're connecting to the Internet, and you're like, oh, I've never been infected with anything. I'm running antivirus anyway. I'm fine. Well, there are zero-day vulnerabilities that are, st- are still being discovered on those systems. And when they're discovered, Microsoft doesn't patch those versions of Windows anymore. And so as a result, those vulnerabilities are forever vulnerabilities on those platforms. And over time, as more and more of those vulnerabilities are discovered, it literally builds a hacker's toolbox for ways that they can get into your computer and escalate privileges or use one hack in combination with another hack to get a third result that they're looking for, which is why we tell customers it's just you can't run Windows 7 on the Internet anymore. You can't run Windows XP on the Internet anymore. If you're going to use them for your sewing machine because it's compatible with the software you have for your Cricut or whatever, hey, that's great. Just don't put it on the Internet. You can still use the computer. There's nothing wrong with it. Just don't put it on the Internet. Um, so that, that's kind of the, the zero day vulnerabilities are scary, but that's one of the big things. And thank you for the call, Ron. I appreciate you taking the time to join us today. That's one of the things that secure updater is intended to, to protect you against. So for example, I just, I mentioned before we, we went into the last break that there are, uh, 90 something vulnerabilities. Uh, it says, uh, this is according to ZDNet, get patching now. CISA adds another 95 flaws to its known exploited vulnerabilities list. So these are not zero-day vulnerabilities that have not been exploited. This is 95 new vulnerabilities that are currently being exploited. Um, They've ordered federal agencies to patch bugs in software ranging from Cisco, Microsoft, Adobe, Oracle, and more. So 95 patches in a week. Now, you probably don't need 95 patches on your computer because you probably aren't running Cisco equipment in your house. You probably aren't running Oracle databases from your home. But you're definitely running Microsoft, and you're probably running Adobe software. That's just two examples, right? So what Secure Updater does is Microsoft does a good job of taking care of its own patches and updates. What Microsoft doesn't take care of is the third-party patches and updates that you need on everything from Zoom and Dropbox and Adobe Reader, uh, Java, all these programs that we all have installed on our computers that you just count on them patching themselves. But the truth is when they release a patch, they don't have the server bandwidth to patch the entire world at one time. There is a rollout on the patches. And so that means you can wait up to two weeks before your computer gets the patch it's supposed to have for a particular vulnerability. And as we all know, minutes matter. Hours matter. Weeks is ridiculous in the the current threatscape. Secure Updater automatically and silently updates all of your third-party software to make sure that it is current. We support over 30 different programs with Secure Updater to make sure that you're patched fully, you have the most secure recent versions of everything that you need. We're even pushing patches out for Chrome and Firefox before Chrome and Firefox patch themselves because we release them within eight hours of the patches being pushed. So I would encourage you, if you if you don't have Secure Updater on your computer, you can get a free, I mentioned the free 14-day trial. That's available to anybody. Just go to secureupdater.com. You can get the software there. You download. You don't have to give us a credit card to get the trial. We don't, it, it's not one of those like you have to remember to cancel it kind of things. It's not like that. You just go there, you sign up, you get the trial. When the trial's up, it's going to bug you. It's going to say, hey, it's time to subscribe. Uh, but it's not going to ask you for the credit card until we've already proven the value of the software to you. Once we've proven that the software is something that will improve your security situation, then they ask, we ask for the, 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 the payment, basically, for the license. Um, it's $50 the first year, 
$29.99 each additional year. So it's a very reasonably priced piece of security software that does not replace your antivirus. I want to be really clear about that. Secure Updater does not replace your antivirus. Secure Updater closes the back doors that vulnerabilities use to get around your antivirus to improve your security situation. Now, of course, as we've mentioned in previous shows, and I'm going to mention this again because it's important, make sure you've checked your router for firmware updates. Your wireless router is the box in your house that, pro that projects the internet through your house. Sometimes your wireless router is the same thing as your cable modem or, it, or your, your DSL modem. It's provided by the cable company. If that's the case, there's nothing you can do with it. If you have like the Cox panoramic Wi-Fi, there's nothing you can do to update that. They, they will take care of that. But if you have your own wireless router, which is what we actually recommend so that you can control your own security and your own Wi-Fi and your own network and not have junk hardware that, that uh, an ISP might provide, won't name any names, um, you should have your own wireless router. But with that comes the responsibility of making sure it stays secure. I will guarantee you if you have never checked for a firmware update for your wireless router, you need one. Let me tell you a quick story before we take our final break here. We had a router fail in the Lincoln Service Center. Took our phones down for an entire day. It was a big mess. Got in there, got it all fixed up, got it all worked out. Went through and just while I was waiting for updates and things, I went through and did cur just cursory checks because I was remoted in. I needed the settings for the, the forwarding for ports for the phone systems. So I, I had to remote into one of the other routers in another service center to get the settings because I didn't have them with me. And sure enough, I noticed that's odd. The, the, the router is supposed to automatically update its firmware every day at midnight if it's required. But it's not. It's turned off. Who turned that off? How did that get turned off? So I checked the other service centers. We use the same routers in every service center. It was off in all the service centers. So for the last four months, we thought our routers were automatically updating their own firmware, but they weren't. And yes, they were behind. And yes, there were active vulnerabilities that could have been exploited on those routers. Well, they're not behind anymore, and the auto update is turned back on again, kind of disturbing that it got turned off somehow. And across the board, it wasn't just a one incident thing. But that just goes to show you guys, double check your systems. It even happens to professionals. Double check your systems. Double check your backups. Double check your router's firmware updates. Double check your antivirus software. Double check your secure updater subscription is not expired. You know, little things like that will, will come back to haunt you if you don't realize it. 888-250-2091. Going to take a quick break. When we come back, first off, we're going to take Tom's call. Second up, Elon is shaping a battlefield with his technology now. Can you believe this? The guy that made electric cars is now shaping a battlefield. And on top of that, he said something yesterday that was so shocking. It actually will hurt Tesla's long-term prospects, but it was the right thing to do in the moment. So big props to Elon. We're going to tell you what he said coming up next on Compute This. Truck Innovations repair technicians also make house calls. Make an appointment and let us bring our award-winning computer support right to your home or business. Remember the good old days when virus detection worked like, where's Waldo? Spot the virus in the striped shirt and you win! Today's infections are changing hourly to avoid detection and use social engineering to trick you into making mistakes. Using yesterday's security to defend against today's threats is like using leeches to stop an infection. It just doesn't work. We recommend Sophos Intercept X, antivirus backed by Shrox virus-free guarantee. Sophos uses the power of AI to detect the patterns of a virus attack and responds with Shrox custom actions that stop it fast. With Sophos on your PC, Mac, Android, or iOS device, you get the state-of-the-art protection you need to defend against the most advanced attacks out there. In fact, if your device gets a virus while running Sophos Antivirus, Shrock will remove it for free, guaranteed. It hasn't happened yet, and we intend to keep it that way. Ditch your dad's antivirus and keep your device, data, and identity safe with Sophos and Shrock Innovations. Compute This Pro Tip 178. Those little life-saving surge protector strips are vital to your computer's health and should be used whenever possible, even for laptops. As computers get smaller and more powerful, they're also becoming more sensitive to dirty power, and your power is a lot dirtier than you might think. Even if you have a whole home surge protection, most power surges are generated within your own home. If you've ever vacuumed and seen the lights get dimmer and brighter, you created a surge. Surge protectors can only absorb so much energy measured in joules. 
When that capacity is exhausted, your surge protector becomes a glorified extension cord and needs to be replaced. You should always look for surge protectors that give audible alerts when they're no longer able to protect your equipment. Schrock recommends these because the lights on most strips are just power lights and they don't tell you when it's time to replace the unit. If in doubt, replace your surge protectors annually to keep your expensive TVs, computers, and other electronic equipment safe. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks, final segment of the program. Thanks for joining us today for Compute This. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to be a part of the program. Uh, wouldn't be the same without having you guys here. Um, so we're going to jump into the phones and take Tom's call. But first, real quick, after the program concludes, we will be holding an After Shrock show. It's a show we do on Facebook.com slash Shrock Innovations. During the After Shrock, uh, we've got some, some interesting stories, stuff that just didn't make the show today. One in three women plan to buy cryptocurrencies in 2022. Interesting stuff. Um, Russians did not flock to Bitcoin. There is no evasion of sanctions with Bitcoin happening. We're going to give you the details on that, and that's why the price is dropping, actually. Uh, and also, some common sense preps for your family. I mentioned at the start of the program that I was that we did a, sp a stock up because my spidey sense is tingling. I'm going to share some of the things that we stocked up on and why, uh, so that maybe if it's something that you think might be a good idea for your family, you could do the same thing. But that's the after Schrock coming up here on the program or after the program at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Tom, welcome to the program. How can I help you on Compute This today? Good morning, Thor. Morning. Uh, I've got an old desktop that I used, and it's got uh, Windows 7 on it, okay. and I've reached the point where I need to upgrade that. I've had several hard drive warnings, oh, wow. and I'm looking at uh, do I need to, to go to a laptop as moving forward, or is a desktop still something practical? Uh, I just need to figure out what's the best thing to do, and can I bring my computer in and get a laptop at the same time? What's the best oh, yeah. avenue of yeah, absolutely. We have desktops and laptops in stock in all the service centers. So you can pop in and, and make a complete purchase, whatever you need to do. Desktops are a completely viable option. They're actually more upgradable. Your long-term cost of ownership is lower. They last a lot longer than a laptop. Laptops are great okay. for portability. So if you if you plan to pick it up and move it around, go with a laptop. If you're just going to put it on a desk and plug it into a power cord, stay with a desktop. Great. All right. Thanks for the call, Tom. I appreciate you joining us. We got you in the drawing there as well for the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Today's winner, Cheryl, congratulations. You've got yourself $25. bucks. we will get a hold of you on Monday to get that over to your Schrock account for you. Thank you for joining us, everybody. As I mentioned, the After Schrock coming up next. Give me a few minutes to get everything situated here. And we will see you again next weekend for another exciting edition of Compute This. From the Amish Furniture of Nebraska Studio, your home for made-in-the-USA furniture, this is News